Hello there, and welcome to the third annual Synths and Music Tech Award show. In today's video, we are going to pick the best that Synths and Music Gear has to offer in 2019. And just like last year, I have a bunch of special guests. Last year we had And Wong, Cuckoo, and Red Miss recording, among others. And this year I brought on new guests, some that you probably recognize, but some that might be new to you. So I've linked all of them down in the description if you want to go and check them out after the video. And just like last year, I invited you all to vote on the best synths and music year of 2019, and I'm going to present the results of that poll in today's video. So go and grab your favorite beverage and get ready for special guests, the best that music tech had to offer in 2019, and just a really fun award show. So let's get to it. Welcome to this year's Synth Awards with your host, Bo. This year's award show was made possible thanks to the sponsorship from DistroKid. It's my favorite service to getting tracks onto iTunes, Spotify, and Apple Music. For $20 a year, you can upload unlimited music, so go and check them out using my link in the description. So before we get started with this award show, I'm just gonna have a sip of my Synthfluencer uh, use here. Thanks, Nigel. Well, it's been another wonderful year for music technology, but my favorite release of 1976 was the ARP Odyssey Mark II. Now, you may remember about four years ago, we had the original Odyssey in the studio in its white color scheme, and it's good to have it back in its golden black. Let's take a listen. So there we go, what a wonderful instrument. You can actually play two notes at a time on this synthesizer, and who knows, one day in the distant future, perhaps we'll be able to play three. Nigel, back to you in the studio. Polyphonic, duophonic, monophonic. Oh, oh, I don't know what happened there. That was weird. I had this funny dream about retro synths, and now I have 80s porno music playing in my head. Don't know what that's about. But yeah, anyway, let's get on with the first category. Best audio interface. Best audio interface of 2019 goes to Focusrite for their updated Scarlett 2i2. So congratulations to Focusrite for updating an excellent line of audio interfaces. My next guest is an excellent music producer, makes beautiful videos, and is a good friend of mine. Welcome, Sanjay C. What's up, guys? I'm Sanjay C. When I watched Bo Beats Award Show last year, I thought to myself, one day, one day, I'll be on that show. And here I am. Today, I'd like to honor one knob, this one. This knob has given me speed, agility, and simplicity this year. And it's attached to this keyboard, which is nice too. This is the M32 by Native Instruments. So many plugins I use are compatible with complete control keyboards, and it makes browsing presets and controlling them so easy and fast, which is important to me. But the M32 is something special. If you already have a large keyboard or you're just getting started, the M32 gives you hands-on control of complete control features in a small and expensive device. Now I have control of software instruments by Artoria, Yuhi, Outputs, Spitfire, and so many others. And with some simple mapping in Ableton, I even have control of Omnisphere and Serum. Check out that video on my channel. Thank you, Nob, and thank you, Bo. Early 2019, I went to Tom and Synth Reactor and met my next guest for the first time. He's known online for videos about test equipment. And he is also my long lost German twin brother with a deeper voice. Give a warm welcome to Heinbach. Hi, I'm Heinbach. I love touch interfaces for synthesizers. They enable a level of control that I find often more expressive for the timbres that a synthesizer can produce than a normal keyboard. Plus, more importantly, you can play them with sausages. <laughs> The instrument that stood out the most to me this year is the Surge by Random Source Touch Keyboard. Whether I use it to control my wall of test equipment, or play it with a regular Surge, this 
this is one of the most precise and fun controllers I've ever used. Thanks, Bo, and goodbye. This is the best MIDI controller of the year. Best MIDI controller goes to Arturia for their Keylab 88. And they won with quite the wide margin, so congratulations Arturia for making an excellent MIDI keyboard. I met my next guest at Native Instruments Creator Base 19, and I kind of yeah, made her listen to my bleepity bloopity music. And she was kind and diplomatic enough not to laugh too much about my bleepity bloops, which makes her not only a great music producer, beat maker, but also an honorary Swede. Here is Courtney Hawkins. What's up? I'm Courtney Hawkins, and I want to talk to you about my favorite software that released this year. It's actually a release by Rolly. It's called Rolly Studio Player, and it has some really cool functions in it, one of them being smart chords, and it just allows you to create some really, really lush chord progressions with the touch of one button. So let me show you. And that is my favorite release of 2019. Best Hardware Effect. Best Hardware Effect of 2019 goes to Soya from Empress Effects. And this was actually Cuckoo's favorite choice in 2018. And I'm happy to see the positive response that this little, this little pedal and effects unit have gotten from the community. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on with it. So if you're looking for a modular pedal effects unit, go and check it out. Congratulations, Empress Effects, for winning Best Hardware Effect of 2019. New synths and music production tools is not just about satisfying some gear acquisition syndrome. To most of us, they represent meaningful tools to express ourselves creatively. And here to talk about meaning is my friend, Lightbat. It's funny you should want to talk about meaning, because I've been meaning to talk about meaning for a while now, and now this opportunity gives me the means to talk about it. Let's talk about it. The most meaningful piece of gear of 2019 is not this plant, because this plant is not a piece of gear, but this plant interfaces with something I would consider to be the most meaningful piece of gear of 2019 in the light bath zone, and that is Plant Wave. Plant Wave is the successor to MIDI Sprout. It measures the electrical conductivity in the leaves and translates that into MIDI data that you can then use in your DAW, on your synth, with your modulars. So this year, they have just completed their Kickstarter to fund a new device that is a smaller version of the MIDI Sprout that is powered by a rechargeable battery and it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so you don't have to plug in a bunch of stuff. The only thing you plug in are the cables that go to the leaves and then the thing transmits all the MIDI data to whatever you want to transmit it to. The most meaning to me, because they're my friends. My friend Joe is the primary creator of this thing, and it's amazing, and I love Joe, and he's such a good guy, and he's just doing the good, he's fighting the good fight, you know? He's working the good work, he's doing the good do. So that's, that's it, that's, that's what I have to say, so thank you. Best product from a small manufacturer. The winner in best product from a small manufacturer of 2019 is actually a tie between two synths that aren't really out yet, but we wanted to put them on the poll because otherwise you guys would, yeah, you would have commented a lot about that. And also they were nominated a bunch of times. And the winners are Argon 8 from Modal and the Super 6 from Udo. I think that these are two synths to look forward to in 2020 and I hope to try them out and do a little review of both of them. So congratulations Modal and Udo for best indie product of 2019. guest is well known for his thorough versus series where he compares different synths and he really goes into detail. If you want to watch videos where somebody compares oscillators for hours, then you should go and watch my next guest or, or you could just use the videos to annoy somebody. 
with those raw oscillators. Here is my good friend, Starsky Carr. Hi, Bo. As the nights draw in and the year comes to an end and I sit next to a roaring fire with a warming glass of brandy, it's time to look back and think about our favourite synths of the year. I like that in 2019, Behringer brought out some great value versions of some analogue classics. My original contenders were the full-size Odyssey, MS-20 clone, and my particular favourite of these was the Pro 1. And up until a few days ago, my choice was going to be the Pro 1, because I'd been so excited about getting one that could maybe replace my original. And then came the Crave, which is an amazing little synth for the money, so similar to the Mother 32 in so many ways, and I've had them both in front of me for the past couple of days and made some gorgeous tones but none of these can do dirty like the Stylophone. And I realized it's the only synth of the year for me that brings something new to the studio, and that's its instant madness. It's a true boutique synth, it's full of character, and I just love it. I know it's not a synth that can cover lots of ground sonically, it's not feature laden or technically world shattering, but it excites me, I find it fun, it sounds alive, and I can't wait to start patching it in with other stuff. So my synth of the year is the Stylophone Generator. It's like a cross between something disturbingly bad but strangely attractive and a kinky Rottweiler. Excellent. I love it. Here's to more great synths in 2020. So, Skull. <laughs> and that's my only Swedish. Best Portable Synthesizer. And the winner in Best Portable Battery Powered Synth of 2019 is the MC101 from Roland. It's actually a favorite of mine in 2019 and quite the underrated little groove box. So congratulations, Roland. If you've ever found my thumbnails annoying, then you will uh, simply love my next guest. His channel is not about synths, it's about audio recording and mixing. And if I ever need somebody to fill in for me, he got the funny accent, he has the long beautiful hair, and most importantly, the clickbaity thumbnails. Here is White Sea Studios. Hey guys, it's Witsi here from Ritesy Studio and the piece of gear that meant the most to me during 2019 is this thing. It's the round side machine from Tegler Audio. It's a very cool device. Uh, it has motorized potentiometers, it has tubes in there, it, it sounds amazing. But that's not the most important thing. The thing that I liked and I realized while using this reverb is that reverbs do not have to be complicated. This thing is very simple to control. It has six controls on the front, which are normal potentiometers. There are no menus, no difficult settings. And creating a reverb the way you want to have your reverb with this thing is super easy. Of course, we have the FabFilter Pro R, which already did a good job at making it easier to create your own reverb. But this thing, whoa. Anyway, keep pushing and bye bye. Now this is the best drum machine. Best drum machine of 2019 is not really a surprise. It's the Behringer RD8. It's a clone of an analog classic and a lot of people have been waiting for an analog reproduction of it. So congratulations Behringer for winning best drum machine of 2019. People always ask me, what does it take to become a good synth YouTuber? Well, you need a good voice, good looking hands and some clickbait thumbnails. And my next guest, he nails all three of them. Here is Oscillator Sync. Hello, Oscillator Sync here. Thanks for inviting me, Bo. The piece of gear that most enthused me in 2019 was the Korg Volker drum. My love of the Volker series is no secret, and while the Volker modular that was announced alongside the drum claimed most of the column inches and hype, I was quietly optimistic that the drum could be my new favourite Volker, and it didn't disappoint. Never before have Korg got the balance between, on one hand, ease of entry simplicity, and on the other, flexibility and utility offered to the power users so spot on. I liken it to a Super Mario game. Anyone can pick it up and play, but with practice you can pull off stuff that seems impossible. Korg also managed to do something that always appeals to me on new gear. 
they created a synthesis engine with what feels like a tiny range of parameters, but those parameters are chosen very carefully, and you're given great freedom within that framework. Korgov also obviously put a lot of thought into the sequences on these third wave folkers, and little tweaks like active step per part, re-triggers, and apparently drawing some inspiration from a certain Swedish brand will help players break out of that repetitive one bar loop. When I get some free time, I'm really excited about recording a whole EP using just the Volker drum, because you really could. That's how cool of a little box it is. Best piece of software. The winner of best software 2019 is actually a tie between two products from the same company. <laughs> it's Arturia with their update for the V collection, but also for their pigments software. So congratulations to Arturia for winning best software of 2019. My next guest makes beautiful videos where he combines hardware Euro rack with software Euro rack. He is the defender of VCV Rack on YouTube. Here is Omri Cohen. Hey, Bo and guys. And gals. So, 2019, oh man, comes to an end. VCV Rack got officially released in June this year. VCV Rack is a free and open source virtual modular synthesizer. And there are two main reasons why uh, VCV Rack is so important to me. First of all, since it's available for everyone to use, it's super easy and super fun to share ideas with one another, to learn about modular synthesis and the modular environment, and also to help you plan your next steps in your modular journey, but also the community that is built and is still growing around VCV Rack is all about sharing and helping one another. Developers of different modules collections are working together with the users, creating more tools and crazy models for us to experiment with and enjoy. So go check out VCV Rack, fill your time with weird noises and textures. Thank you, Bo, and have a good one. Best Euro Rack Module. The Euro Rack category is like the most impossible category ever because it should be its own award show. DivKid, I'm looking at you. Maybe it's time for you to you know, step up and, and make one. Basically, you can't pick the best UREC modules. There, There's so much to choose from, so many different categories. It should have its own award show. But we still want to acknowledge that there are great things happening in the UREC scene in this award show. So here is the best UREC module. And it goes to Erika Sin's Pico System 3. So congratulations for winning best UREC module of 2019. What happens if you take a drop of DIY put in some Furby hairs, and then just douse it in a bunch of crazy. Well, you get my next guest. Look, mum, no computer. So yeah, 2019's out. This thing actually came out this year. The Dremel Veritip, a gas-powered soldering iron. I've got to say, the Veritip is pretty slamming. There is one piece of gear that I have discovered this year, and I'm pretty sure it came out this year. This thing, the LA-2A copy by Clark Technic, the KT-2A, basically a limiting amplifier that has all valve, and it's uh, made by Clark Technic, and it's 180 pounds. I don't know how solid it is compared to the LA-2A, but I use this, it's pretty bright, and crunchy to be honest and it's still got that popping crunch. The Clark Technic 1176 copy, not as good, I don't think. I have both. In fact, I have three of these. I've also seen they've got some Valve EQs out. Uh, I haven't tried those yet, but I'm pretty excited because they're pretty cheap as well. But I'm afraid that comes in at a close second to the Game Boy Mega Machine, even though technically it's not finished yet. It's probably more a 2020 model. Real real tail price yet to be figured out. The best update of the year. Best hardware update goes to a name I always forget how to pronounce. Is it Deluge? Deluge? Anyway, the Deluge 3.0 update from Synstrom wins in this category with quite the wide margin. And congratulations, Synstrom. You guys have been doing a great job communicating with your community, bringing great updates to your Groovebox, and it's a well-deserved win. So congratulations, Synstrom. And yeah, just keep at it. Keep doing what you're doing. It's working. People are loving it. One of my best experiences in 2019 was going to different synth events and meeting a lot of great people. I met my next guest at Superboot19. He's a YouTuber and talented musician. Here is Carlos. Hi everybody, I'm Carlos Renon and I'm going to talk to you about my favorite plugin of 2019. So, 
The plugin is Scalar. Scalar is a plugin that helps you create chord progressions. It's amazing because you can program the scale that you want those chords to be in. You also can modify those chords to have a 7, a 5th and 11 to be the way that you want those chords to be. Also, you can do voicings of those chords and it accelerates the process of creating a new composition of doing a new song. Also, it gives you kinds of sounds, different sounds of piano, roads, synths, everything that you can can start creating as fast as possible and start composing your ideas. And the amazing thing is that you don't have to be an awesome player to use it. You just have to program the keys, put it in just one key of your keyboard and with one key you can play different chords. This is a plugin that if you are a composer, that if you are creating music, you need to have in your stock. That's why I love that plugin and it's my favorite plugin of 2019. Hopefully you're not just here because you love music tech, you also make some music. And if you do, you might want to release it somewhere. DistroKid is sponsoring this year's award show and they offer a great service for uploading your music to Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music and many other stores. They offer a subscription for as little as $20 a year and you can upload unlimited music to all their stores. I often recommend their Musician Plus service for about $35 a year because it comes with additional functions that you might want, such as detailed stats and schedule scheduling releases ahead of time. Go and check out DistroKid using my link in the description and thanks again for sponsoring this year's award show. If you're looking for the best microphone reviews here on YouTube, you don't have to look further than my next guest. But uh, the real question is, of course, when are you gonna ditch those guitars for some real instruments? Get some, uh, get some synths, buddy, okay? Here is Podcast H. Oh my god, another DM from this Bob Eats music guy. God! Hey everybody, just kidding. Bander from Podcastage here, and Bo asked me to share my favorite music production gear of 2019. Both devices are guitar pedals, and the first one is the TC Electronic Ditto Looper. I love these things for recording a very quick harmony, a little chord progression, and then coming up with the melody or the lead part. This makes it so incredibly easy to get those ideas out quickly so you don't forget them. The second pedal saved me about $800. It is the Friedman Dirty Shirley Overdrive or preamp pedal. I was looking for a new amp and then I stumbled across the Dirty Shirley pedal and this thing is a beast. It gives me the exact overdrive tones and distortion tones that I want. It is incredible for pretty much every genre that I have tried it on. So there you have it, my two favorite pieces of music production gear in 2019. Thank you so much, Bo, for asking me to be a part of this... No, I mean, curse you, Bob Eats Music, how dare you DM me? Block. Talk to y'all later. Bye. My next guest is a great sound designer and YouTuber. Give a warm welcome to my friend, Geosynths. Hello, it's myself, Jamie of Geosynths, and Bo Beats has reached out to me to ask me a specific question, which is, what's my favorite bit of gear of 2019 and why? Well, for me, it's the Moog one. It's the scale, it's the size, using it day in, day out, making patches one after another. As a sound designer, it has to make sense, not just for making one patch, one sound, but for dozens and dozens of them. It can do the classic sounds. In fact, I made 50 patches for Moog, uh, which were given out for free to end users. But it can also do new sounds, and I think it's that coming together of workflow, complexity, and musicality is the thing that I find the best about the synthesizer. It's just so expressive. This year's Best Groove Box. Best Groove Box category is my favorite category because I actually started making music on an RM1X, so it's near and dear to me. And the winner of Best Groove Box 2019 is the MC707 from Roland.
congratulations, Roland, and I do hope that you keep updating the device. Uh, song mode would be appreciated. My next guest doesn't need much of an introduction, full of energy and with a beard that puts the rest of us to shame. Here is Mr. Gas Williams. Hey, Bo. Hello, everybody. Gaz Williams here. Um, my picks from 2019. Blimey, gosh, so many things, so many amazing things. I've just only just had a play with the Hydra synth. That blew me away. The UDO Super 6. God, actually, i got to be honest, though. My personal favourite, this little thing. It's the new stylophone for Gen R8, and it's kind of nasty. This is like the naughty kid. This is the smoking on the back seat of the school bus kid. This makes a really ferocious sound. And I think, coupled with the lightning fast control you've got on the stylophone keyboard, and I gotta be honest, I'm a huge stylophone fan. I think this was much better than I was expecting it to be. I was looking forward to it, but it, a lot of patchability on there too. Um, you can patch, obviously, internally, but also connect to other stuff. It's a, it's a bit cool. It weighs a ton. Knobs are a little wobbly, but do you know what? Why not? I'm gonna give this one 2019. Cheers, Bo. Gas Williams. See you next time. The best synthesizer of the year. So the next and last category is, of course, best synth of 2019. And the winner is not really a surprise. It's one of the most hyped synths of this year. And it's not really out yet or barely out yet, but it is the Hydra synth from ASM. actually won the vote with quite a wide margin and looking at the wave morphing architecture, the cool design, the great build quality and the sound, it's actually not much of a surprise. So congratulations ASM and Hydra Sin. <sighs> I think that was all the guests and uh, awards we had for today. What is that sound? I am the magpie. No! the end of the video with me the magpie here we're gonna do things a little bit different if you know me you know that I'm an, an avid looter or scavenger pirate if you will so I am interested in you your best scavenge or your best trade your best eBay your best company going out of business deal your best bargain and this in here is the best of 2019 that I have encountered. This is actually not really mine, but m most of... But I have access to it on a daily basis and I can do whatever the fuck I want with it and I really want something cool. And maybe you can beat this or you can just beat me in, in general in the comments with your best 2019 scavenge. Oh! Korg M1. That's... It was free. I like free. I find a lot of shit in the garbage and stuff like that. Right across the street, uh, Kratzlop Central Land. But I'm interested to what has been going on all around the world. So what's your best deal? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope I see you down in the comment section. And um, yeah, from uh, alla oss <laughs> till alla er en riktigt uh, god jul. Thank you so much for watching this year's award show. It would not have been possible without the contributions of all the guests. And I'm also super happy about the guests that were on in 2018. Sort of just yeah, setting the bar really high for what I wanted to achieve with this year's video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, comment, consider subscribing to my channel or yeah, the channels of the guests. So I've linked them down below. If you like what I do here on YouTube, you can go to my Patreon and support my channel over there. And you can also check out how to support the guests of this show. So thank you so much for being here. Have a happy end of 2019. And I look forward to seeing you in 2020. Have a great day. Talk to you later. It can't be. It can't be.
Best Novation Circuit. Oh, wait. That's the Novation Circuit. No, it's... Best Cup of Coffee. No! Best way to pronounce this word. Digitact or Digitact? Best award show announcer. Hey, that's me. I'm Jake Glazier.